Nihon Hongtai Maze Circuit. With only two rounds to go and just 10 points separating first from seventh, the street legal tournament promises to get hot and heavy under the clear blue sky. Masashi Yokoi, the current points leader, seems confident. Last round winner, Kunihiko Teramachi, is on a roll. The broadcast booth is manned by the familiar trio, plus Masato Kawabata as guest judge. Many drifting pros have gathered at Maze today. Let's see how they're to be judged. Drivers are judged from the second hairpin onwards. There's a penalty for missing the inside clip, and assisting judge Murayama will be keeping an eye on the clip in here. While descending the S-curve, keeping it floored and snaking through gets big points. Keep the drift D, take it outside with the throttle wide open, and exit at the stretch to complete the course. Coming up next, still and guts combined for the Tanso Solo Run! The tournament begins with the Tanso Solo Run. The action starts with number 66, Yoshiyuki Kishiyume, who squeaked in at 16th in the qualifying round. He entered with his older brother, but only he made it through. Let's see how he does. Ooh, that's a nice angle. Uh, but it would have been a decent run if he'd gotten some more speed on it. Here comes Tachiki Sato, last year's Street Legal East Series champ. Oh no, he clipped the curb! Oh, he's wobbling! Uh oh, oh, and he spun out. Next up is Shion Kono. It's the first time he's qualified. Oh, Kono spins out too! Here comes Daisuke Nakamura, who's always been a little plain in both personality and driving. But maybe he can do something about the driving part. Yeah, he overruns the course a bit, but he puts in an exciting display. It's now Hiroyuki Kobayashi. Maze is his home circuit. He smoothly sails through the course with practiced ease. Entry number 71, Kazuyuki Masada, comes in. Ooh, the white smoke is cool. But he loses the line and wobbles about. Oh, dear. Here's Satoshi Nakatani, who made his debut this season. Nakatani also leaves the judges' stand clouded with choking dust. Here's Yoshimi Mori, who finished the qualifying round in ninth. Oh, he's gunning it! My, my, my. He turns in a great run with plenty of speed. Next up is Hiroyuki Yasue, who's hoping for another best 16 placing like the last time. He swings it too far out. That's a fail. It's now Daisuke Tanaka. He was pleased with his qualifying run, but how will he do in the Tansos proper? Nope, 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 nope. He took it too shallow. Next up is Masanori Kohashi. He's been called a young gun, but at the age of 20 and with a 15-year-old competing, he's one of the veterans now. 
Run isn't much to brag about. Kosuke Kamiya, who was once a perennial top ranker, finally makes his 2012 street legal debut. Let's see if he can bring it again. Uh, Kamiya goes a little small on the final arc. Tomoaki Tsunekawa makes his entry on his home course. There was a bit of a lag before he flicked it back, but he wraps it up nicely. Tadashi Horiguchi arrives on the throaty growl of his ride's V8 engine. Whoa, 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 what's going on? Oh, something is wrong. The engine is belching smoke. Oh, this is looking like a write-off. They're gonna need extinguishers. Hurry, it's gonna catch fire. From the starting S-curve to the stretch past the judges' stand, the dying V8 left the course slick with oil. With the oil mopped up, the drivers take a test drive before continuing their tonsos. The course has reopened and Takayuki Ono resumes the tonsos. The rear jumps the curb, but Ono steers it home nicely. Oh, well done. Here's Hideyuki Fujino, who finished first in yesterday's qualifying stage. He shows it's no fluke with a tight performance. Here's Shingo Nishihama. Thanks to his fifth place finish at Bihoku, he automatically qualified for this round. Oh boy, but this is no good. There goes his qualifying exemption for the next street legal tourney. <laughs> Yukio Matsui makes his entry. He has some concerns about his engine. Okay, well, he's hanging in. Oh, there goes his rear bumper. It's now Takamasa Kuroi. He's advanced to the best 16 in the last two rounds. His goal is now to get a win in the best 16 stage. This time again, he delivers a textbook run. Next, it's Mitsunori Ito. Oh, he makes his entry with speed. He is looking dandy. Here comes street legal rookie Akira Hirajima. He flicks his tail sharply. He's doing fine in his Maze debut. There's Yusuke Kitaoka, who celebrated his first tournament win this year. He snakes through on a cloud of smoke. This is good. Kenji Kiguchi appears. His Nissan Laurel was finished just today with a new engine. He slides into a nice groove and gets it done. Up next is Kazuki Hayashi, who's looking for his first tourney win. He's coming in fast. Uh, he got a little shaky, but he brings it home neatly. Yoshiaki Waki slides into view. He won the opening round and came third at Mehan. He wraps it up with an impressive flick of his tail. Here's Semi Tanaka. He's looking to bounce back from an unexpected first stage exit at the last round at Seto Naikai. He can't quite get up to the speed he needs. And that's cutting a small line. <laughs> 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 
Kunihiko Teramachi broke his ship knob. Will it keep him out of the best 16? Teramachi is fresh off his first tourney title at Santa Naikai. He'd like to keep riding that wave. Sure and steady control. This is good. He's booked the spot in the best 16. Masahiro Yakushiji comes in. He's gunning for his first title. And he is going in with speed. Now he's straight off the line. Here's Mitsuru Murakami, last round's runner-up at Seto Naikai. He sweeps in on a tidy line to close out his run. And here's the final driver, Masashi Yokoi. He swings the rear like a door kicked open. He gets it done with a crisp performance. Well, all the Tansos have been run. Who will get to advance to the Tsiso Twin Run? Coming up next, the drivers duke it out in Gutsy Tsiso Battle! New faces abound, it's the Tsiso Twin Runs. The best 16 consists of the usual top seeds joined by local Mazda Drifters. These guys. On the first run, Kunihiko Teramachi leaves Masahiro Yakushiji behind, earning a one-point lead. The second run sees Teramachi slotted behind the front-running Yakushiji. He traces Yakushiji's line with no deviation. The second run is declared a draw. Thanks to his first-run lead, Teramachi advances to the best stage. <laughs> The chasing Tsunekawa makes his entry somewhat shallowly. And he can't close in on Matsui. Kawa-san! 6.5 Matsui. Ah, big advantage, Kawa-san. Eh, 6 Matsui. 6 Matsui! On the second run, the front-running Tsunekawa does better, but not enough to overturn the first-run score. Yukio Matsui advances. On the first run, the chasing Murakami staggers at the second hairpin. He fails to find his groove, giving Fujino a one-and-a-half-point lead. Murakami, who's ranked second, is in a tough spot. Uh, he wobbles again. And loses his drift. The chasing Fujino's line is small, but he manages to pick Murakami's pocket. Murakami's errors cost him. Judges Kamimoto and Kawabata respectively call it 7.0 and 6.5 in Fujino's favor, sending him through to the best eight. In the first run, Kiguchi hangs on to Waki's tail from the second hairpin and gains a one and a half point lead. On their switched-out second run, Waki returns the favor and forces the match into sudden death. But the first set resolves nothing. In their second sudden death set, the chasing Kiguchi tucks in tight by the leading Waki. Kiguchi is slotted in snugly and matches Waki move for move. Kamimoto and Kawabata both award the run to Kiguchi with identical 5.5 scores. In the second run, the leading Kiguchi outdistances Waki while exiting the second hairpin, finally putting an end to their seesawing dogfight. Waki-san, always 
すごく楽しく走らせてもらえるんで面白かったですただおどうにかなりそう In the first run, the leading Modi tries to gain speed, but it costs him in angling. The second run begins with the pair tied. The chasing Modi shows determination, but he wobbles drunkenly. And Modi messes up big time. Chasing a shallow entry makes it impossible to drift on the smooth line. Hirajima advances to the best aid. Missed it. Good. Good. This side. Good. 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 First run sees the chasing Hayashi straighten out, giving Kuroi a one-point lead. The pair switch for the second run. Kuroi will be chasing and hoping to advance out of the best 16 for the first time. Oh, Hayashi can't keep his drift going! Hayashi loses both momentum and the match from a blown shift. sees Kobayashi trying to keep up with Kitaoka, but he flares out wide. Kitaoka stakes out a one-point lead. Kobayashi leads off. Kitaoka enters warily behind him. Kitaoka rides the curve. Kobayashi slides a little wide, and he can't hold his drift. If Kobayashi could have kept it together, he could have forced the match into sudden death. Too bad. Yusuke Kitaoka goes on to the best aid. <laughs> on the first run, the chasing Nakamura fails to snake through the Esker. Yokoi earns a commanding two and a half point lead. Yokoi enters tightly behind Tanaka. <laughs> He reels Tanaka in and sinks his every move. Yoko has padded his lead for insurance. The judges expected Yoko's rear to go off the curb through the S curve, but he deftly squirmed through to catch Tanaka again. <laughs> Masashi Yokoi grabs the final best eight bird. When the dust clears, the best eight mostly consists of the regulars. With the number two and three rankers dropping out, Teramachi and Yokoi have a huge opportunity. Can Kuroi, who just earned his first Tsuso win, turn it into a streak? Teramachi finds his groove early and turns up the speed on the pursuing Matsui. He leaves Matsui in a cloud of smoke and dust. The judges Kamimoto and Kawabata award the run to Teramachi with matching 5.5 scores. The judges are impressed with Teramachi's wobble free run as the leader. The leading Matsui needs to overturn Teramachi's point lead. But even when coming up the rear, Teramachi doesn't ease up on the speed. The judges again award identical 5.5 scores to Teramachi. Kunihiko Teramachi is the first through to the best four. He 
Higuchi follows Fujino tightly through the S-curve. He reels in the fleeing Fujino. キグチとの S字の捕まえ方うまいですよね。うまいですね。あそこ寄れますね。あと審査席前だけ決まれば。ゴブ。ゴブ。やっぱりゴブときた。川端さん。ゴブ。ここはゴブ。イン both judges award the run to Fujino with 5.5 scores. Hi, go then, go Fujino. Go then, go. Yeah,やっぱりあの寄りは取れたと。いや、寄りじゃない。寄りじゃない。寄りじゃない。Hideyuki Fujino advances to the best four. いい流れなんですけど、ちょっとミスしましたね。まあ次ミスしないように頑張ります。Jima takes the lead with Kuroi chasing. Try as he might, Kuroi can't catch up to the fleeing Hirajima. However, the judges declared the run a draw. But why? Even though Kuroi appears to straighten out at the S curve, that's the official line. The second run begins with the driver's tie. The pursuing Hirajima closes in on Kuroi. Kuroi snaps his tail. Hirajima is slow to react. Kuroi manages to flee. Hirajima's line at the approach to the S curve was too small. Takamasa Kuroi is awarded the run and a pass to the semifinals. Yata. Yokoi looks a little shaky, but chases down the leading Kitaoka. Judges reward Yokoi's aggressiveness with the same 5.5 score. Kawa-san. Kamimoto feels Yokoi could have bored him tighter before the judges stand. It's the second run. The pursuing Kitaoka tries for payback and attacks at the Esker. No, no, his aggressiveness does him no favors. Yusuke Kitaoka wobbles his way out of contention. Masashi Yokoi secures the final best four spot. Coming up next, skills are put to the test in the semifinals and finals. Three more battles to go. It's the semifinals. Fujino is paired against Teramachi. Kuroi, who's looking to make it to the finals for the first time, goes against Yokoi. It's the first run. The chasing Fujino catches Teramachi at the S-curve start. He does it again before the judges stand, earning himself a one-point lead. In the switched-out second run, he sticks to Fujino like a shadow and erases the deficit. Yeah. Sudden death gets underway. Oh, the chasing Fujino gets wobbly. Eramachi zips through with no issues. Oh. 
The assistant judge reports that Fujino's error was unforced. Judge Kamimoto awards the run to Teramachi with a 6.5, as does Kawabata with a 6.0. Chasing Teramachi enjoys a big points lead. Unless he makes a major error, this match is in the bag. The judges declare the second run a draw. Teramachi advances to the finals. The chasing Yokoi again makes his entry right on the leader's tail. No, Yokoi makes contact! Fortunately, Kuroi manages to maintain control. Kuroi deserves kudos for not losing control when Yokoi slammed into him. The judges declare the run a draw. Kuroi's entry was poor, but he gets a pass for hanging in after Yokoi's bump. The pair switch for their second run. Leading Yokoi peels away. Kuroi can't close the gap at all. The judges confer. Kamimoto renders his decision. The assistant judge reported on Kuroi's wobbly entry at the hairpin. However, Yokoi's speed on entry was found to be slow. The judges ruled that the pursuing Kuroi made his entry in step with Yokoi. But the frontrunner's slowness made it impossible for him to hold on to his drift. Their respective errors leave the drivers tied again. This match goes into sudden death. Yokoi is already on to Kuroi even before the S turn. Leading Kuroi wobbles. Yokoi pours it anyway and keeps it locked. For his gutsy chase, Yokoi is awarded a 6 and 5.5 respectively by judges Kamimoto and Kawabata. Yokoi leads off for the second run. The chasing Kuroi latches onto Yokoi from entry. Yokoi flees. Kuroi tries to get inside. No, but Yokoi slips away. Through to the finals, it's top seed Masashi Yokoi. And now, the last remaining match, the finals. ポジションになってきたですね。いたりついてきた。思った。ありがとうございます。がしかし今日の横井は手強そうですよ。そうですね。いつも手強いですけどね。なんか作戦はあるですか。作戦はないです。思いっきり行くだけだと。え、ノープ
And Abachi gets deep into Yoko's pocket. Both judges award 5.5 to Teramachi. With no point spread, the drivers are going into sudden death. The first sudden death run ends in a draw with Yokoi unable to quite catch the speedy Teramachi. On the back end, their roles are reversed. Teramachi fails to snare Yokoi, resulting in another draw, leading to another set of sudden death. さあ、ファイナルも釣れます。若干横井に傾いたり、若干寺町に傾いたり、寺町に傾いたり。そうね。ゴブ。The finalists have so far conceded nothing to each other. Will this be the run to end it? Yokoi takes off running! Teramachi is on him like a shadow. He is not letting go. Teramachi has finally nailed! He's conquered Yokoi! This epic dogfight is over! <laughs> Prevailing after two sets of sudden death to claim the championship's title is... Teramachi Kuniko! Kunihiko Teramachi! He beats top seed Yokoi to win his second tournament in a row. Masashi Yokoi does the top seed designation proud. He came second, but only just. Hi, I'm ready to go. いい連勝ですよ。ね、夢にも思わなかったですけど、めっちゃ嬉しいです、これ。ちょうど横井が手強いと思いきや、横井がね、ぴったりと張り付くのが素敵だったんですよ。いいですか。はい。普段あんまり
テールカメラさんはいドドン<笑>はいドドンテール見てカメラさんいやーなかなか見ないよねあうわ The engine is an RB20 turbo that once powered a relatively recent Skyline model It's an ideal setup for an automotive novice like Masaki ここうわやっぱこれあれですね、えー、ギリギリです<笑>いや5センチあります5センチあります、はい、大丈夫これ大丈夫大丈夫これもう普通に回せばかかりますもんねもう全然回してくださいはい来たおすごいですね社長、えー、でも本当に現代な大丈夫これウィンカーかけてあ,あれもう<笑>も,う、ま、もうマフラーがもうマフラーがガリガリって言いましたけどマスターこれ大丈夫ですかこれこれ大丈夫じゃないじゃない大丈夫車高低,低すぎだろ車高低すぎだからでもあそこがいいかなうわこれ最高や<笑>どうパーセどうこれいや全然軽いへえうわこれ渋いや全然運転しやすいわ本当、うん、全然もう何の問題もないですただこのちょっと車庫端っていうのはね<笑><笑>でも全然運転しやすいハンドルむちゃくちゃ軽いへえやっぱ見られますねやっぱこう横通っていくやつがどんどん見てきますねさあもう5速入れた気分どうですかいや最高ですね今俺5速に入れてますから<笑>ね The vintage sedan has a uniquely distinguished feel. It'd be the perfect ride to take to a D1 event. Coming up next, the girls claw their way to the top. It's the ladies' league. It's the D1 ladies' league Maze round. First, the Tanso solo runs. To do it, man. Oh. ピンクのメガネ似合うのって多分本当に野村健か動物園のねなんか,か日本でもそんなもんね。久保田のレア日産セフィロスタートタンソーズ。わわわ、she goes off course but first and crashes。Kubota is really a quiet girl when she's not behind the wheel. We didn't see this in practice, but looks like she's uncaged the beast. It's the veteran Murai. She goes in with speed. Well, but can't maintain her drift. Here's Nobue Nakamura, who's active in Eastern Japan. He carves a nice line from entry. Oh, excellent run. Here comes Akari Nagasawa, known for her risky boom or bust style. She lays down a street legal worthy run on a cloud of white smoke. Here's Miki, who just wants to make the best aid. She banks it sharply, but gets a little shaky towards the end. It's Toshie Moraoka, who plays seventh at Ebisu. She's lurching around. And it's a spin out. Next up is Michiko Yasue, who placed a career best fourth at Ebisu this year. Hmm. A little too tame after a crisp beginning. Miki Endo's runner-up spot at the last Setonaikai round was her best to date. Oh, 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 her drift is shaky. She can't get it up to speed. Here's Asuka Iwamoto, who came first in the Tansos at Setonaikai. He goes heavy on the gas to show the boys how it's done. Good job. 
Naomiki Yabuchi, a proven suso fighter. She punches up the speed and throws her tail with authority. The big girls finish out the Tanso stage. First up, it's Rie Shinmi. She calmly carves out a smooth line. It's Michie Mimoto, last round's winner at Seto Naikai. She holds a deep angle throughout her ending drift. Next up is Saori Ishikawa, who's only got eyes for the title. She begins her drift way out front. She keeps up her attack right to the end. Sumika Kubokawa debuts her new ride. The queen shows off her mastery with a deep and steady drift to conclude the Tanso stage. Well, who will advance to the best eight Tsuiso twin runs? It's now the Tsuiso twin runs promising heated car on car battles. The best eight crank out a series of sudden death deals. Non season contestants Nobue Nakamura and Akari Nagasawa are the ones to watch. Shinmi takes after Iwamoto at entry. Okay, looking. Oh, Shinmi blows it! That wobble is gonna cost her. On the second run, Iwamoto's driving is a little suspect, but not enough to nullify her lead from the first run. <laughs> Entering their third sudden death set, Ishikawa makes a huge error as the chaser. Nakamura completes her run cleanly with no distraction from Ishikawa. If she can go error-free in the second run, Nakamura wins. In the second run, the chasing Nakamura repeats Ishikawa's error at the second hairpin. However, the judges decide Nakamura's error isn't significant enough to cause an upset. Nobue Nakamura finally advances on the tiniest of margins. It's the first sudden death run. How will the pursuing Kubokawa approach Mimoto? slips away. Both judges score at 5.5 for Mimoto. Mimoto has a chance to finish it as the chaser. She smoothly pulls up to the fleeing Kubokawa. Ooh, not too shabby. How do the judges see it? Michie Miyamoto notches an impressive win over top seed Sumika Kubokawa. Yabuchi stumbles badly on entry. She fails to recover, giving Nagasawa a huge three and a half point lead. Nagasawa gives herself a little room on entry behind Yabuchi. Oh, the leader straightens out while Nagasawa snaps at her heels. This is settled. Akari Nagasawa is advancing to the best four. <laughs> Let the semifinals begin. Taking on series regulars, Mimoto and Iwamoto are the local Maze Lady Drifters, Nakamura and Nagasawa. Who wants it most? Yeah, 
Oops, there's something wrong with Nakamura's car in the back. Oh, she's totally left behind. Maybe a problem with her transmission? Nobue Nakamura's clutch trouble knocks her out of the running. It's Asuka Iwamoto moving on to the finals. It's a career first for her. Congrats. Mimoto briefly straightens out. The pursuing Nagasawa earns a huge lead. All she has to do is do her own thing to win this match. Having down Queen Kubokawa, Mimoto desperately wants the chance to earn the top spot. But Nagasawa peels away quickly. No, oh, Mimoto can't catch up. Akari Nagasawa claws her way into the finals. <laughs> This is it, the final. Sorry, ゆずりません。というわけで<笑><笑><笑> From entry, the chasing Nagasawa hounds Iwamoto's tail. She is really taking it to Iwamoto. Iwamoto flees, and Nagasawa sticks with her. Oh, they both look great. The judges call it a draw. At the second hairpin, the two ladies made minor contact. After repairs to their bumpers, they are ready for the second run. Here we go. Iwamoto harasses the leading Nagasawa. And she's gaining on the leader. And they drift. The winner of the 2012 D1 Ladies League Maserand is Yusho Nagasawa Akari Akari Nagasawa It's her first win this season and her career third ちょっと<笑> Akari Nagasawa prevailed in an exciting finals match and earns her first win of the season. Asuka Iwamoto is the runner-up. Nagasawa now has an impressive record of winning three of the six tournaments she's entered. However, Sumika Kubokawa, being so far ahead in the standings, is best positioned to take the series championship at the next round in Nikko.